on Saturday day with the fumble when you saw the ball look us through your mind? And did you think you'd be able to take it all the way? Uh, I really thought I was going to be able to take it all the way. The thing is, like, when you make plays like that, I kind of just black out. And it's just kind of like the brain turns off and the athlete turns on. And then uh, I thought I could go all the way, but I just kind of ran out of gas at, like, the 50 and got caught from behind. Just the play Tyler made on that, did you see it? Did you know how he was able to pop the ball out? Or did you just kind of see the ball on the ground and react? Once again, I just kind of blacked out and was just playing at that point. But, uh, yeah, it was a great play by him. Just heads up play on the one-yard line. It's a... 14 point swing, so that was huge for the game. Go to David. Hey, Dean, what is the biggest difference in uh, Canadian college football versus uh, Power Five football in the U.S.? And how has that acclimation been for you? What has been the toughest thing to adjust to? Um, the difference is it's a really big difference. Obviously, there's the rules. Like, I never played man, I mean, I never played press man until I got here. That was a big change. I've never seen receivers this big or this fast, so that was a big change. And yeah, just the rules and everything. But um, in terms of acclimation, it's just it's just a constant learning process. You just got to keep on making adjustments to your game every week, and um, yeah, just got to keep on competing. That's the biggest thing is you just got to come out here and compete every game. Any more questions for Dean? Go back to Nick. For the defense as a whole, when you guys are playing well, what's different? Than when you guys aren't. I think a big thing is attitude. You know, when you have guys like Otis and TK out there, like you can, that attitude is infectious around the entire defense. I think that's what helps stop the run and everything. And uh, yeah, just attitude and having some pride about ourselves. Does that kind of motivate you for these last two games to know there have been times where you guys have been a really, really good defense, but it doesn't show up every week? Yeah, that's the thing. Like we we've put some good stuff on film and a lot of bad stuff on film and. I think if we could just tap into those moments where we have played good defense, then we can apply that going forward with these next two weeks. Back to David. Yeah, Dean, what, what's the herky-jerkiness like of this schedule, dealing with COVID and everything, uh, having games canceled and things like that? And on the flip side, do you, enjoy, do you guys appreciate and feel like uh, it's an advantage to have these unexpected open dates pop up? Um, just having these games canceled, it's just, I don't know. We kind of have to just approach every week, like I said before, just, like, try to get better. Like, t today was a really competitive practice, and that's good to see because, like, obviously no game Saturday. A lot of people would be loafing around, but it was really competitive. And, um, yeah, you just got to take this time to get better. You no, know, that's all we can really do. We, can, we can't – we just got to play the cards that were dealt to us. Like, did you and Tavius Robinson have a special bond since both of you came from Canada? Is there anything going on there? Yeah, uh, that's my roommate. We kind of talked about it, too, just, like, the differences and, like, how we're adjusting to it, like, homelessness, all that kind of stuff. And it's, it's good to talk to somebody that has a really similar experience like you.